to another episode of Play Cam. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well as watch the video all the way through. Not because Ash too, because man, today's Halloween and and we're we're at a graveyard. I'm Clay Nelson. I'm a general contractor from West Monroe, Louisiana. I like to make videos. This is gonna be freaky. You ever seen this monument grave in Monroe where the guy's like standing up on the tall thing here? He's looking downtown towards Monroe. I got a little story about it. It's pretty interesting. So February 1st, 1889, Sidney Saunders was found with a bullet in the back of his head. It was quietly ruled a suicide. So Sidney was a businessman. A lot of people believed that he was in some businesses that were probably kind of bad, like uh, brothels and gambling, that type of thing. Things that are pretty dang illegal. And Sidney and his wife Annie had a son that died at age 12. I don't really know what he died of. And lastly, Annie is buried here, but right when Sidney died, there was some really kind of weird, creepy stuff that happened. And I'm not sure I'd necessarily call it creepy, but yeah, it's pretty creepy and weird. Okay, these metal doors here used to be a place where Annie, after Sidney's death, could walk down in there, and there's a sewing machine down there, and there's two caskets, actually three caskets now, but at the time, there were two caskets one with Willie and one with Sydney, and she would sit there and sew. I want to say that there's like a tricycle, a sewing machine, and of course now three three coffins in there. But she had this tomb built especially to do that, and she did it for a pretty good while until she moved away and actually got married to another dude in Texarkana. That was kind of creepy. I heard somebody go, ah. You ever been to a graveyard on Halloween? It's kind of kind of weird. Kind of kind of. I like it though. It's really pretty out here, and it's just really nice. The, the weather's perfect, and it, it is Halloween. It's really Halloweeny out here. And also, one of the big arguments was that Annie and Sydney weren't married, and that was all kind of like tied into the whole brothel thing. It was like when she, when Sydney moved away one time, and then brought Annie back, and they thought that she was somehow part of that. And it was just a really weird, creepy dynamic. And I'm not going to get too far into the story, so I'm going to post in the comments like the full story. And of course, I'm just going to plagiarize off of somebody else's stuff, but I'm going to like list the credit, of course. Okay, so what you're looking at right there, that is a marriage license. And what he's doing, he's looking downtown, towards downtown Monroe, and he's looking at the people that sort of maybe called him a liar or, or caused him trouble during his life. And he's just, he's got his marriage license and he's saying, look, I'm married, here I am. I'm gonna be looking at you guys for eternity which is also kind of weird, but I get it. I totally get it. Anyway, I thought this would be a really appropriate story to tell you guys on Halloween. Happy Halloween. And since it's Halloween, I think I'm gonna walk around a little bit. This is a really old graveyard and I, I think it's just creepy and cool. <music> in a really weird way about a graveyard and like looking at the headstone you see those two dates and in between those two dates is a person's life the entire life that this person lived on this earth and the headstone resembles the location of the vessel that that carried them through this life and then you see a grave where somebody died at like 10 years old and you think about what happened during their short life why did they die and, and, and these people died in like the early 1900s late 1800s and it's just really really something to think about it just puts some weird things through your mind especially on Halloween yeah. some kind of comfort you get from being in a graveyard it's like it brings that self-awareness like eventually you're gonna be in a place like this and it, it's in a weird way it makes you feel better about life and death because you physically see like the final resting place of your body and the good thing about it is is it's not the resting place of your soul I didn't bring you guys to a graveyard just to be creepy or just to be weird. I wanted to, number one, I'm just interested in that kind of thing. And then number two is Halloween. Number three, I just think it's just a, I just think it's a good way to gain perspective. What the crap? Oh my God. I know this Halloween, but dude, you're going to have to like chill out for a minute, man. Okay, okay. Cute, baby. What did y'all find, man? Oh my God. Oh, no, no, no. no. How you doing? Today we're gonna have like a little carnival, like trick or trunk type situation here in the neighborhood. And it's gonna work out really well because we don't have to go to another neighborhood to go trick or treat, I don't think. Has your mama ever told you that they put needles and razors and candy and stuff? So that's why I don't really like the trick or treat. You know, cause I don't wanna have like needles poked in my mouth when I try to eat a Tootsie Roll. Lock him in, lock him in. Wait, take out the key, yeah. Now run, now run. Yeah, there you go. Ha, <laughs> Xander's stuck. Oh, oh. <laughs> River, you need some help, dude? Oh, dude, <laughs> the tree's giving you a wedgie. <laughs> <He's> getting... <laughs> That's funny. No, I got it. 
Dude, you're not gonna believe how many hot dogs I have to cook. I've never cooked this many hot dogs before. It's like, look at all this meat, man. This is like, this is like 40 pounds of processed chicken, cow, per, pork meat. What is this crap? That's a lot of wiener. Just when you thought it was over, more wiener. Deer season. What's up, dude? <laughs> Hold off. You look awesome. Thanks. Here, let me get my. You want? Hey, Ryan. Come here. You gotta come bite my carrots. We all know what deer eat. <laughs> carrots. You're the finest Creel Deville I ever seen in my life. Can I pet him? Hey, mommy, look. I haven't done that with him. Okay, let's go do that. I'm aspiring to be that. Same time, same place, all right, we'll talk to you soon.